What's up, everybody? Axe Wizard here. Welcome back. In the last episode, I gave you the intro of what this series is going to be about. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to jump into... Now, we're going to jump into planning the game. Now, I already tried recording this, and I forgot to move my camera out of the way like it is now. So, let me just move that down. All right. So, now you should be able to see the content that I'm working on. I feel so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> but uh so yeah i already sort of made the overview of what i want to do now i just use google docs because it's super easy if you were to go to like make a new document um here if we go here there's a bunch of templates that that you can pick and i just picked the the project proposal template and that's what i used here so X Wizard Space Game of Justice, right? Um, the overview is I just want to make space game, sort of like EV Nova, and I threw a screenshot of it here. So it's not gonna be as detailed as this, but when when I plan uh, a game, I like to get at the very least what my goals are with it. So what do I want to be able to do in this game? So in this game, I want to be able to pilot a spaceship. Um, I want to be able to customize my spaceship. I wanted to give it upgrades, maybe even purchase bigger and better ships. Uh, I want to be able to traverse the galaxy. I also want to be able to trade stuff to make money, as well as, you know, fighting other ships, which is, is a given in a space game. And maybe it'd be cool to have, like, a, a fleet of ships, maybe, like escorts or something like that. And I also want there to be a story. Now, these are the... This is just the basics. Now, this is not all this game is going to be. I'm going to probably add stuff as I go. Uh, when I've planned games before, I've sometimes I've kind of gone overboard in the planning and I type up like a 28-page Google Doc of just everything I'm going to do in this game and, and end up sort of draining all my creative juices typing up the document. So by the time I get back to this, to, to writing the game, I'm already spent. <laughs> but... I, I do feel it's important to at least get some stuff on paper so you can refer back to it. Uh, so at the very least, get your goals down for what your game is going to be. And then also, it's also good to determine what type of game it's going to be. So I'm going to do a 2D top-down space game. So this is important to know so that I, I know how to, first of all, craft the systems that I'm going to be uh, coding in the game, as well as also making all the assets that I'll need. Um, you know, making 2D assets is very different than making 3D assets. And I also want to know what platforms the game is going to be meant for. So I'm going to aim for a web browser game. The, the reason being is that I can just throw it up on a site and uh, anybody with a web browser will be able to play it. And it's primarily going to be intended for mouse and keyboard. Now I could make it like a, a responsive web game to where it can detect what operating system you're using. So if you're using like iOS or Android, I can have like on-screen controls and maybe I might do that after I make the game. So you could in theory go to that website on, on your phone, tilt that pig over, and then you'd be able to play um, that way. I don't really want to go through the effort of exporting to a certain platform. So, you know, exporting to Windows is fairly easy, uh, cause I'm running Windows. Exporting on Mac would be a much harder, harder thing to do. Um, I do have a MacBook somewhere. I would have to port this project to that and compile it on that computer and, that would require exporting it to Xcode, and that that would be that that's a whole nether dealio that I've done before. That's not very fun. Same with like iOS uh, development. Uh, doing that's not fun, <laughs> uh, especially because I've only I've got an older iOS device I could test on, but getting it certified on the App Store is not not uh, not exactly a a hobby project. It's uh. It's kind of depressing to be honest and then for android i could go through and build it if i want to download gigs of the android sdk and be able to export it and build it on there putting it on the app stores on the on the google play store is fairly easy but 
I just, I'm going to, since I'm, so I'm just doing a 2D top-down space game, I don't need to have a super complicated uh, game that needs to rely on a certain platform. So I'm just going to make it a web browser game. That way it's accessible by whatever platform you want. Um, I'm sort of not going to do console export for this little tiny game. Uh, that would be a, a big challenge. But this is what we're going to go for. So now that we have the idea in mind of what we want to make, now we can jump in the code and start making this happen. So in the next episode, we're going to we're going to tackle piloting a spaceship and this will probably take us several episodes to do i'll break them down into more bite-sized episodes but uh we're probably going to start with uh asset creation i'm going to make some placeholder sprites so that we can get going and then later on maybe i might uh design more uh professional sprites or i might even hire somebody to design some uh some art for the game so so i, I forgot to add this so i'm going to add it in a little later Another thing that I can also add down here in the specifications is uh, what engine will I be using? Now you probably saw in the first video, I'm, go I'm gonna be using Game Maker Studio 2. And there's a few reasons for that. First reason is that that's what I'm most familiar with. Um, I, th I was thinking about doing this series using the Godot engine um, but I'm not familiar enough with that yet. And since it's been a while since I developed my own game, I kind of want to just get back into something I'm used to. And then maybe the next game that I make where I do a series start to finish, I might use Godot. So Game Maker Studio 2, I believe recently changed their, uh, recently, like within the past year or two, changed how their licensing works. So before you used to be able to just uh, download like a starter version and you'd be able to make like up to 20 assets and have like five objects or something just to get used to it. Now I believe they've changed to a free version. So if we go to Game Maker Studio 2, make a game with Game Maker. I believe it's, it's actually fully free. And then when it comes time to export your game, then you have to upgrade to a certain version and this makes sense. So what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to, you know, download it for free and, and do everything to, to make a game and you'll be able to run it on your computer for like in, in testing mode and, and, and everything. Um, but when you want to go to make like to, to export it to a certain platform, whether it be windows, iOS, Android, uh, you know, Mac, uh, PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, uh, you have to uh, pick whatever version you want for that. So as far as I know, Game Maker is, uh, is free to, to, to use. So that, that's fantastic. Uh, Godot, I was very close to using Godot. In fact, if I was just starting out with, uh, with game development, I wish I would have, uh, I wish I could start with Godot. For me, I've been using Game Maker since probably 2010, so it's been about 12 years or so that I've been using Game Maker on and off. So obviously, I feel at home with Game Maker. But if I if I had a choice, I would probably start with Godot because you can do 2D and 3D. I've used Godot a little bit, and I like it a lot. And it's sort of like Legos with code. Like you can snap in little modules and nodes for every, for every little thing and build uh, your game that way. And it was very, very cool. But for me, a lot of the, the development time for me is slower for me just because I have to spend a lot more time in the documentation, looking up all the helper functions. Whereas with Game Maker, since I've used it for so many years, I already have an idea of how I want to accomplish things and what tools I, I need to use that. So. For this first series, I'm going to use Game Maker, but I think for my next series, I'm going to use Godot. So uh, we'll see if that happens. Uh, I, uh, you know, I really like Godot. It's uh, it's pretty cool. It's free. It's open source, and I think that's really awesome. So, uh, yeah, there was like a this very very close to making this series in Godot, but we're going to start with Game Maker. So. Yeah, that's what we're going to do.